So good morning, or maybe you're watching this in the afternoon. So good afternoon, or maybe good night to you. I'm reading from Jeremiah 29. Uh, I'm looking at verse 11, and it says, For I know the plans, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days, when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and, rest and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. Now, Jeremiah is writing a letter to the priests, to the elders, the priests and the prophets and all the people that are exiled in Babylon. And he's writing a letter um, letting them know that this is what God is saying to them. And I really just have a question for you this morning, and it's simple. Do you know the plans that God has for you? Do you know the plans that God has for you personally in the situation that you're experiencing now at your home, at your place of work? Do you know the plans God has for you? Do you know the plans that God has for your family? Do you know the plans that God has for your community? Do you know the plans that God has for your nation? Jeremiah is writing to the people of God that have been exiled. And the people of God have found themselves now. They've been exiled to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. And this is of God's own doing. God has placed them here. And Jeremiah is writing, from, writing to them after hearing from God, writing to them and saying, this is what God is saying to you about the present situation that you're experiencing and what you're going through. God is actually expressing to them, you're going to stay in captivity. You're going to be there for a while. So you have to continue to live, continue to go through. But guess what? These are the plans I have for you. I have specific plans for you. This morning, I want to ask you, do you know the plans that God has for you? And if you're listening to me and you're saying, you know, I really don't know what those plans are. I would say then it's time to listen because God speaks concerning his plans for us, but not only for us, for our family, for our communities and for our nation. So what are the plans that God has for you personally? What are the plans that he has for your community? How can he use you to impact your community for his honor and glory? How can he use you to impact your nation for his honor and glory? This morning, I want you to stop and I want you to write down, what is God's plan for me? What, what is God's plan for me? What is God's plan for my family? What is God's plan for my community? What is God's plan for my nation? And when you've heard it, I want you to write it down and I want you to start now praying concerning it and taking action towards it. All right, so Father and God, even right now, we thank you, God, that just with your people, oh God, Lord Father, as you spoke to Jeremiah and he wrote to the people of God and let them know that you do indeed have plans for them, that they are on your thoughts, that they are that Lord, you had a plan for them. Cause your people to know that you have a plan also for us and cause us to be interested and seek after you to discover your plan, your purpose, your vision for our lives and your vision for the, for the communities in which we live, for the nation to which we belong and for the people around us. And God, we thank you and we give you all the praise, the honor and the glory in Jesus name. Amen and amen.